Cruz God Prayerlings, welcome to Matins on this Friday morning, Friday, May the 6th, 2022. You seem so far away. That's better. Uh, yeah. Easter. Pentecost Matins. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which, if you have this book, is on page 131. Um, I don't know what the weather's doing. I don't know what I'm doing either, but, you know, what else is new? It seems chilly and rainy. And I hope that's not true because the guy who cuts my grass is supposed to come today for the first time this year which means first he has to clean up the yard and then the grass is all high and that will be miserable for him to be doing all that if it's cold and rainy anywho um, stream of consciousness as usual what are we doing today we are praying Psalm 81 we are going to hear more from Colossians. I think we're in chapter 2 now. And our hymn is Now All the Va Vault Now All the Vault of Heaven Resounds. Which if you have this book is number 143. And when it's hymn time we are going to sing the first two verses and then I'm going to try to stop stop the video and have the last two verses in place of the Benedictus because this is it's long the hymn's not that long but this particular rendition of it is almost eight minutes so when we get to the Benedictus, then we'll do verses 3 and 4, and verse 3 is just for listening, and then we can all join back in singing on verse 4. And this is more from Concordia, that puts out those fantastic, Concordia Publishing Houses, puts out those fantastic CDs. This one is Hymn for All Saints, Psalms, Hymns, and Spiritual Songs. Vocal, organ, piano, and instrumental settings of Christian hymnody and song. So that's who's singing it, and they, of course, are magnificent. What did I leave out? Psalm, scripture, hymn, nothing. Okay. I have St. Thecla with me today. Remember St. Thecla? There she is. Did you look her up? Every time I have St. Thecla, I tell you you should look her up. Have you ever looked her up? Maybe some, maybe on St. Thecla Day this year we'll talk about St. Thecla, but that's not till September. All right. I am, uh, I don't even know where my brain is today. I, I was going to say I'm going to go find the piece that works. I don't even know where it is. But I'm going to find something and I'll be right back and we'll pray together. Hang on. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, 
and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. Oh, come, let us worship him. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. Oh, come, let us worship him. Psalm 81 Sing with joy to God our strength, and raise a loud shout to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the merry harp and the lyre. Blow the ram's horn at the new moon, and at the full moon, the day of our feast. For this is a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob. He laid it as a solemn charge upon Joseph when he came out of the land of Egypt. I heard an unfamiliar voice saying, I eased his shoulder from the burden. His hands were set free from bearing the load. You called on me in trouble, and I saved you. I answered you from the secret place of thunder, and tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, if you would but listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not worship a foreign God. I am Yahweh, your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt and said, Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. And yet my people did not hear my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I gave them over to the stubbornness of their hearts to follow their own devices. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I should soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him, and their punishment would last forever. But Israel would I feed with the finest wheat and satisfy him with honey from the rock. Let us pray. Almighty Father, you rescued your people from slavery and through the passion of your son acquired a new people united in his body and marked with the sign of his holiness. Feed us with your finest bread so that we may have food for this life and a foretaste of eternity where you live and reign with the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Now all the vault of heaven resounds, verses 1 and 2.
reading from Colossians chapter 2. See to it that no one makes a prey of you by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the universe, and not according to Christ. For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily. And you have come to fullness of life in him, who is the head of all rule and authority. In him also you are circumcised with a circumcision made without hands, by putting off the body of flesh in the circumcision of Christ. And you were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. And you, who were dead in sin and the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made alive together with him, having forgiven us all our sin, having canceled the bond which stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the principalities and powers and made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in him. Therefore, let no one pass judgment on you in questions of food and drink, or with regard to a festival, or a new moon, or a Sabbath. These are only a shadow of what is to come, but the substance belongs to Christ. Let no one disqualify you, insisting on self-abasement, or worship of angels, taking his stand on visions, puffed up without reason by his sensuous mind, and not holding fast to the head, from whom the whole body, nourished and knit together through its joints and ligaments, grows with a growth that is from God. If with Christ you died to the elemental spirits of the universe, why do you live as if you still belong to the world? Why do you submit to regulations? Do not handle, do not taste, do not touch, referring to things which all perish when they are used, according to human precepts and doctrines. These have indeed an appearance of wisdom in promoting rigor of devotion and self-abasement and severity to the body, but they are of no value in checking the indulgence of the flesh. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now, in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Yes. That's what I have to say to what we just read from Colossians. Yes, absolutely. Did you hear what we just read from Colossians? Paul is wondering why, if Jesus made everything new, people still want to live as if he hadn't. That's his question. So don't you even know what Jesus did? Don't you even know? In another place, namely Galatians, Paul says these words, these so Pauline words, it is for freedom that Christ set you free. Yeah. So why then, if you're free, then what are we free from? We're free from the power of Satan, the power of sin, the power of death, the elemental spirits, philosophies, uh, the law, rules, 
anything that people say we have to do or believe or say or in order to make God love us, we're free from all of that. We are free from all of that. And Paul says, then how come then you still listen when people say, oh no, you, and I'm sure he's talking about the people coming up from be, behind him from Jerusalem. No, you have to be Jewish before you can be Christian. You have to do this and you have to do that. You have to be circumcised. You heard him say, you are circumcised, but not with a circumcision made with human hands. You exchanged your flesh. And when Paul says flesh, he means your unredeemed human nature. Your flesh has been exchanged for your redeemed nature. That's called baptism. So why do you listen to people that say you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to keep kosher, you have to keep all the festivals, you have to not eat this and do eat that and pray this prayer. And this is, Colossians is, you know, this is still first century. And here we are, 2,000 years later, and people are still doing that. And it, it keeps getting worse and worse and worse. I mean, if you look at the history of the church, there are days, believe me, when I'm ready to leave the church because of its history and because of its ongoing stupidity. I don't, you may have noticed. I think my boss would get upset with me if I did that. But look at all the harm the church has done over the years with this kind of stupidity. You have to do this, you, you have to do that, don't, to the point of killing people because they didn't. You know, um, Crusades, Spanish Inquisition, Right now, the Christian right making laws that will be harmful. It's why do we do that? Why do we do that? It's a power thing. But listen, if you want power, if you want to go to where the power is, Go to Jesus. He has all authority in heaven and on earth. All the power in the entire universe belongs to him. If you want to follow the power, go there and listen to what Jesus says. Did Jesus tell you all that stuff? Did Jesus give you a long list of do's and don'ts? Jesus has a short list. You've heard it from me 80 gazillion times. And here's the 80 gazillion and first time. Love God and take care of each other. If you want to eat pork, eat pork. If you don't want to eat pork, don't eat pork. If you want to celebrate the new moon every month, do it. If you don't, don't do it. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to change your status in the kingdom. It's not going to change the fact that you belong to me. This is Jesus speaking now, not me. It's not going to affect your baptism in any way if you do those things or don't do those things. Love God and take care of each other. You don't have to get into philosophies 
I do because I enjoy it. You all know that. Sorry. But it doesn't matter. People who love God so much they can hardly stand it and devote their entire lives to caring for other people versus my looking up the Greek all the time so that I can uh, figure out where that theology came from and whether it's valid or not and blah 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 which one's doing more good seriously not that I don't care about people you know that's not true but I'm just saying who brought more good into this world? Professors in, in theological seminaries or Mother Teresa? <sighs> Live the faith. That's what Colossians is saying. That's what Paul is saying today. Live out of your identity. Live out of the faithfulness of Jesus Christ. That's the most important thing in the entire universe. Jesus. It says right there, he's the head that holds everything together. Without Jesus, everything disappears. Without Jesus, there's no growth. Without Jesus, there's no stability. Without Jesus, there's nothing. And God brought you into the life of Christ on the day of your baptism to share that exact life. And he named it church. That's truly what church is supposed to be about. The entity on this earth that lives Jesus' life, just like when Jesus was walking the earth and all the things he did, that's the church's job now. And it does not include oppressing people. It does not include looking down on people. It does not in include excluding people. It doesn't include lists of laws. It doesn't include anything but love. And that's our identity. You know, like it says in 1 John, how can we love like that? Because God first loved us. It all comes out of the love that is God. God is love, remember? If God is love and you belong to God, then what are you? You must be love as well. A conduit for God's love. The people walking this earth right now in 2022, whose job it is to reveal the Father's heart. That's what our dear Polly wanted us to know this morning. How beautiful is that, though? Oh, my goodness. And that is true freedom. That is true freedom. Revel in that. Are you ready for the third and fourth verses of our hymn? Remember, the third one which is coming up. Just sit back and listen.
let us pray. Father, by the love of your Spirit, may we who have experienced the grace of our Lord's resurrection rise to the newness of life in joy. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Thank you, prayerlings. What a great way to start the day with Yin's guys. Oh yeah, and him and that guy. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely day today, even though the sun's not out. You can still have a lovely day because of who and whose you are. I'm coming back tomorrow, but not in the morning, in the evening. And we will pray Compline. Meanwhile, please remember that I love you and that he loves you way, 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 way more. Guten Tag.